Hi guys, Nick of Nicktastic Art. I was so in love with the way the uh, neutrals that I used on the um, warm gray background from Amsterdam turned out in my prior video that I decided I wanted to do it on a split base. So I actually leveraged Azo Red Deep and White to really kind of pop those colors and then I added in a copper custom mix of my own. So I'm really pleased with the way this came out. Join me on this journey. So if you're not already aware, please know that we're doing a giveaway for the channel. And basically everyone who is an active subscriber on June 12th will be automatically put into a drawing for um, one of three prizes and you get to choose the prize. So the first option would be a Loli Vefi mat. The second option is gonna be some Arteza Pearl paints, six tubes of the 120 milliliters. And the third option would be a piece of art from me. So the winners of the drawing will be able to email me and tell me their preference in terms of which prize option they would like to have. If you do select the painting, I will email you back three choices and you can pick whichever one or tickles your fancy or speaks to you or is uh, something that you'd like to have. Given that as well, I did want to let everybody know that I have checked the subscription list and I am seeing that there are some folks who are anonymously subscribed to the channel and that that's okay. But unfortunately, I don't have a reference for you to be able to select you as part of the drawing. So if you do want to be in the drawing and you want to continue to be an anonymous subscriber, that's perfectly okay. What you need to do is just comment on a video. So between now and June 12th, any video, any comment. If you could make sure that you do comment on the video if you'd like to stay anonymous and still be in the drawing, happy to have you guys participate as well. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Alrighty, we have got an 18 by 36. It barely fits in my frame. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see it. And um, I really like the last Dutch pour I did so much. I wanted to expand on that, but I wanted to make it a little different. So we're going to do a split base with Azo Red, uh, what is this color called? Azo Red Deep. This is a Soho color and white, Artist Loft white, but we're going to use the same colors um, in terms of there's going to be a peach pink, um, there's going to be a, a very pale bronze, um, a pearlescent brown, an ultramarine, or not an ultramarine, uh, a brown that I made by mixing burnt umber and black, oxide black. Probably going to pop this with gold, but what I do have, this is a scrape from a different pour that I've done, and this color is very much like wine. So that is the, uh, the basis that's going to make this red really kind of work with those colors. The gold will add at the end and we'll see where we get with that, but I definitely want to use the same palette here that we've got. So I'll get the colors laid down and bring you guys back. Okay, we have got our white and our Azo Red Deep laid down, and now we're going to lay the colors um, for this particular blowout. So I'm going to start with the dark brown that I made, which again was burnt umber and black. And that was uh, Oxide Black from Amsterdam, I believe. <laughs> I'll double check here in a minute for you. Oh, it was Lamp Black. Yeah, there you go. Okay, so now I'm going to do this really um, unique light bronzy color that I made. And that's just a custom. I took my Amsterdam bronze and I mixed it in with a lighter color um, that I think might actually have been a pigment. Um, I don't have, I didn't have very much, I mean it was a, like a, the tiniest sliver of color left and I have no idea what that color was. So now we're gonna go with the pearl brown. Oh, I do have two metallics next to each other and I try not to do that normally. Didn't even think about it as I put it down. Okay, 
We're gonna go now with my table scrape color. Um, so like I have a table scrape for greens and I have a table scrape for, oh, this is like a rose. I have a table scrape for the browns and I have a table scrape for, well, I have like 15 table scrapes for, okay, that's an exaggeration. I have one, two, three, four, five table scrapes for blue, depending on the most predominant blue that I use. So this is a really pretty color. The stick always shakes. Shake, shake, shakes. Makes me feel like I'm losing control. Ah, okay. So there's the table scrape. Such a pretty color. I'm now going with my peach pink on top of that color. And maybe this will just look like a big old wine glass by the time we're done. Gonna put some gold in there. Am I gonna put some gold in there? Am I gonna put or am I gonna put pewter in there? Let's go this. And then we'll do the white. Give it a good torch as I think about the blowout direction. All right, so we're definitely going up this direction, so I'm going this direction first. My temperature setting's on low, and so is the blow. straws <laughs> and I just stepped on the one that I've been using uh, so he's now officially flattened out I would have to get another straw yeah let's give it a torch Okay, I really like how that integrated over here with the red on the bottom, super pretty. Um, I like the little cells right there, but unfortunately they've got this weird little mound peak that I'm not thrilled about. And I think this petal needs to be softened out. That's what I'm seeing initially here. Oh, wow. There's a lot more things coming up. We have the rest of this white torched. Sure. All right. Yeah, I like the, the this part right here in the center is very pretty, except that little peak right there. Um, so I'm gonna blow a couple areas out, and like I said, I just squished my straw, so I'm gonna need to get a new one. I got fun colored bamboo straws that I can use, so it, it, whatever color I want. So we'll use red. Gives it a little more movement there. Like I said, I really like what's happening right there. Um, I think he need, it does need to be softened up, but. Okay. I 
definitely like that better. Um, did have to break up that one little area. But maybe we can get something different to happen there. I like the red a lot. I don't want to touch that. Um, let's see. To just go off there. I didn't think I did want it to go off, but now I do. There we go. Oh, that's cute. That looks like a flower almost right there. And here are the dried results. I can totally see this piece over someone's mantle. I just love it. I think it turned out breathtaking. Bring you guys in here for a couple areas. That center, oh, it's gorgeous. Got a little bit of the gold and that um, custom bronzy mix popping through. Love that. Oh yeah, I think this is just the bronzy mix. This is a little custom mix I did there. So um, yeah, you can really see some of the details there. Just so pretty, so beautiful. Um, I love the way the red interacts with it. It was exactly what I was hoping for. Just a pretty, pretty piece. Thanks for stopping by the channel. Find your bliss.